Everything, I am glad to be joining you from Bragg Memorial Stadium here live with Good Morning America's TJ Holmes. TJ, you guys are here for Homecoming Week. It's one of the most exciting times here in Tallahassee. Rattlers love it. Everybody else loves it as well. Is this your first time uh, having the homecoming experience here at FAMU? Yeah, and I'm just getting just the taste of it right now. This is the first time I've ever done a live shot, I think, in my career where there's actually a DJ on site. There's actually a DJ that's with us today for Good Morning America. So that's the first. Yes, the excitement is definitely, you can feel it all through. And they're calling it the experience. As far as that experience is going, how has your experience been so far? You know what, this is, look, I, I, I didn't get a chance to go to an HBCU. My parents actually did. So I, I have learned, some, there's just something unique about an HBCU homecoming. With the homecomings of my alma mater, fine. But they feel different, they are different. There's a, a, a different sense of community and family and even tradition and even lineage with families and so many family members or, or kids we're talking to in the band, they, their sisters and brothers are in the band and their parents are in the band. That's just something unique about this experience in a homecoming that I think you can only get an HBCU. Yes, and the HBCU experience is live and full of, in a full effect here. We are going to be having the game. There's a step show, there's a parade. What are you most looking forward to? Um, you know what, I am going to get a chance to attend the convocation today. Uh, on campus. So I'm going to get a chance to be there with our ABC News president, who uh, was a FAMU alum, Kim Godwin. I get to introduce her today. So I'm, that, that is the only, I won't get a chance to go to the game. So besides this, this morning, that's the thing that I'm really going to get a chance to take in and really talk to people about what FAMU has meant to them. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Yes, and convocation is one of the best things, in my humble opinion, as a Rattler alum myself, uh, yeah. because you get a taste of what makes it important, and you also get a taste of the fun, the FAMU Marching 100s, you get the cheerleaders, you get the choir, everybody participating in that. So um, where we obviously are here at Bragg Memorial Stadium, where else will GMA be able to be accessible to the general public this weekend? Uh, oh, goodness, we are, again, our ABC News president is a FAMU alum, a proud Rattler. You, you won't be able to miss GMA's presence <laughs> if you are here. So we, are, we have actually something really special at Convocation you're going to be hearing about. So that I, I'll, I'll just tease you with that. So uh, GMA is going to be um, going to have a, a very significant role to play in the Convocation, and that will be something that's going to be um, certainly have our, our fingerprint here on, at FAMU for certainly the weekend and maybe even into the future. I think I can give you that much without giving too much, but that's uh, but look forward to the complication. We appreciate that, that yeah. and that is an experience that you are only going to find at the number one public HBCU in the <laughs> nation right here in Tallahassee, the capital city, the Florida agricultural and mechanical university homecoming experience is not something that you want to miss. We're here once again with TJ Holmes from Good Morning America reporting live in Tallahassee. I'm Cara Bailey, ABC 27.